Ulysses and the Siren by Samuel Daniel, 1562-1619 Read for LibriVox.org by Alan Davis Drake of Long Branch, New Jersey Siren Come, worthy Greek, Ulysses, come possess these shores with me. The winds and seas are troublesome, and here we may be free. Here may we sit and view their toil that travel in the deep, and joy the day in mirth the while, and spend the night in sleep. Ulysses. Fair nymph, if fair or honor were to be attained with ease, then would I come and rest me there, and leave such toils as these. But here it dwells, and here must I with danger seek it forth. To spend the time luxuriously becomes not men of worth. Siren. Ulysses, oh, be not deceived with that unreal name. This honor is a thing conceived and rests on others' fame, begotten only to molest our peace, and to beguile the best thing of our life, our rest, and give us up to toil. Ulysses, delicious nymph, suppose there were not honor nor report, yet manliness would scorn to wear the time an idle sport. For toil doth give a better touch to make us feel our joy, And ease finds tediousness as much as labor yields annoy. Siren Then pleasure likewise seems the shore, whereto tends all our toil, Which you forego to make it more, and perish off the while. Who may disport them diversely, finding never tedious day? And ease may have variety, as well as actions may. Ulysses But natures of the noblest fame these toils and dangers please, And they take comfort in the same, as much as you in ease. And with the thought of actions past, are recreated still when pleasure leaves a touch at last to show that it was ill. Siren That doth opinion only cause, that's out of custom bred, which makes us more other laws than ever nature did. No widows wail for our delights, our sports are without blood, the world we see by warlike whites receives more hurt than good. Ulysses But yet the state of things require these motions of unrest, and these great spirits of high desire seem born to turn them best, to purge the mischiefs that increase and all good order mar. For oft we see a wicked peace to be well changed for war. Siren. Well, well, Ulysses, then I see I shall not have thee here, and therefore I will come to thee and take my fortunes there. I must be one that cannot win, yet lost were I not won. For beauty hath created been to undo or be undone. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.